Okay, I am filming this backwards because I started recording after I've already done the project. However, I'm going to show you how to get to the stage where I started recording. Now, first of all, uh, well, first let me explain what I'm my idea behind the project. Now, a lot of people online agree with me on this that when he's in truck mode, any motion, sometimes no motion at all, he's just sitting on their shelf and he starts going, he starts his engine. Now, while it is kind of a fun personality trait, it does get annoying after a while, like a lot of personality traits. Um, and so I decided to take him apart to find the motion sensor and disable it, because I would rather have him go only when I trigger him, too. So that's what this video is about, um, to uh, rid yourself of the annoying factor of making noise when you don't want him to. Now, first of all, the so right now, as you can see, he will not make noise when he's in truck mode. And there's a sensor down here, I'll show it later on. That's where it triggers him to go into robot mode. So he makes his transforming noise, and he announces who he is, just as anybody would. Hello, my name is, um, when they are created. Then he will, instead of making the noise when, he, when you just flip him, make the noise when you go all the way and flip the trigger. And he does do his whole, you hold it down, he does the extra step. Autobots, yummy! Hungry! Okay, so, let me show you how to get to the part where that I got to. First of all, undo this screw to take out the batteries, if there are any in there now. That's first and foremost. Before you do any soldering or electrical work, take out the power source. So, batteries come out, just by t taking un undoing that. Then you have to unscrew these right here. I just put the dang guy back together, so I'm not showing you by... Ex I'm just describing it. That, this whole panel, it's like a half of an H, I don't know what you want to call it. That part comes off, then there's a silver bar in there with a spring, careful so you don't lose the spring, but take out the silver bar makes it much easier to separate these two sections. You'll see that hinge easily. And then this dark gray part right here has two screws right there. I undid that just to help make it so it was a little bit easier separating as well. Now this part already disassembles. Um, then there is a screw right in here. Now, I couldn't use this. This is a little too thick, because the screws are way in there. But there's a screw right down there underneath the X, and there's a screw right here where it's hinged, and then there's a screw right here. Those are the only screws you need to undo in order to take this. See this whole circle right here? It's in two pieces. you got your bottom half and your top half. So you got you're, you're taking this part off. Now, I definitely do it, recommend doing it at this angle because this bottom half has this post that this whole part sits on. It also has the wires going through this to bring to the speaker and the lights. Are the lights in this? Maybe. Um, the speaker, at least, part right here. So, you don't want to, in order to avoid having to undo any of those wires, just leave this onto this hinge down here. Just take off this top part. This part may fall out. You can put it back in. It's the little clip that goes in here. Um, so, once you get to that, then you'll be at the stage where you'll see the circuit board is right in here, and there's wires that go everywhere, and you'll see me unsolder the uh, motion sensor, and you'll get to the point where I am now, where you don't have to put up with his noise constantly nagging you for everything. So, you got to weigh the pros and cons, but uh, I, I liked it, and I recommend it. So, I don't know why I'm concluding... For me, it's a conclusion. For you, it's the intro. Go watch the rest of the video. See how I did it. See if you want to do it yourself. Here's what he looks like. There's the circuit board for the lights that go inside his mouth as it's through the back. Here's the cab side, as you can see. And then there's a circuit board that came apart from here. So, I found out... Did that rattle? I'm pretty sure that this gold cone-shaped thing is the motion sensor. It's an SW1 SW-200. Yeah, it says gold. And I'm pretty sure, I looked at Liverpool online, I'm pretty sure it's tied to the motion sensor. Whenever that little ball hits something, then it goes off. So, I'm going to unsolder that, and there are a few options that will happen. Either it will still work, or it will break the electronics completely because of the fact that it 
broke the circuit. It completely, you know, it breaks the electric electrical circuit. So we'll find out about that. And actually, before I do that, before you unscrew anything, make sure and take the batteries out so that you don't, you know, mess up anything. I'm going to put the batteries in right now for a second so I can test. Oh, wait. Maybe this needs to be in there. Okay, so there's Devastator and his lights probably still work. Good. So let's see if I can put this to You see how often he keeps going? I like it when it's just a switch. Yep, I'm pretty sure. I'm moving that. Let's take this out. So that's back to truck mode. Yep. Okay, so that I'm pretty confident that that's it. So, oh yeah. So first, make sure and turn off. Take out the batteries before you do any soldering and touch any of the electrical wires and equipment. They are just double A's, but you don't want to do any damage to yourself or the electronics. Blah, blah, blah. Don't trade this at home unless you're a seasoned professional. And you're really bugged by Devastator's constant. Meanderings. Alright, so. Let's see, I can show you this. Oh, these are. See, so there's the gold cone, right? So I'm going to unsolder those two connections that are here on the back and pull that deal off. Now, judging by the circuit board, I don't think that's going to break the circuit. I think that it will still work with the switch. But we're going to find out now, won't we? Keep this sucker up. I just realized that I'm completely off camera. Right. I've kind of attempted to get one of those solder, those hot cold soldering iron deals. For one, they're battery powered. For two, they're uh, I don't know. They just seem like a cool idea. If anybody uh, that's watching this has has one of those or has tried one, let me know if it's good or not. Because as most people were leery about those things that you see on TV, you know. There we go. Alright. As you can see, here's the wire. I took that out, so now it's not a complete circuit, so I probably don't even have to undo the other one. Just to test it. If that circuit's going to be broken, it's going to be broken. Far. <laughs> well, maybe. We'll find out here. Uh huh. -huh. So. He works. The sounds work. They do not seem to work from motion sensor ability. The motion sensor before, I'm pretty sure, I, I should have done this before the video to have beforehand. Usually when you open his mouth and he moves his whole head and he goes up like that, he would say something before you reach to the point where you click it. Hear that click? When you actually click it, that's where he starts uh, doing the sucking sound. The and open, he can... But you know what? He still says Crush Auto Still says that. And he 
they still laugh, which is one of my favorite ones. So you know what? I see this as a major improvement. So, just so you know, he will... I'm going to take the batteries out now. I'm putting it back together. So, he won't... It, by disabling the motion sensor, you are losing two things. You're losing... When he's in truck mode, he just sits there and starts going... Grrr, for whatever reason. Um, so I don't think it's gonna, he's gonna do that at all now, because there was no other sensor that did that, to my knowledge. Here, let's put them in and see if he, what he does when you un untransform him, shall I say. Okay, so... Cool. Untransform. Okay, and then, uh, like, I don't think there are any sensors. Nice if there's a sensor in the wheels, so when you move them, that's what it would work. But, uh, they were just, they took that motion sensor and said, okay, activated by motion. So, now, he does not make any sounds when he's in vehicle mode, which, in all honesty, it was kind of a lame sound anyway. It was just a... It didn't sound like driving, didn't sound like cement mixing, it was just a, a messy sound. So... You do lose that. For me, the advantage of not having him do that at inopportune times is worth him not doing that sound altogether. Um, as well as he won't, just when, you, when you've when you got him like this, and you pull that down, he'll open his mouth and whatnot, that you, uh, I don't need to take off all those. I'll show you what I need to take off and what I didn't. Um, so he won't make his sound automatically there. You have to actually pull the trigger all the way up for him to make his sound. Oops. Uh-oh. Did I take the batteries out? No. Oh, see? So here's... you got to watch out. These are very thin wires, so you don't want to lose any functionality here. Well, you got to test it before you put them back together, too. I must have pinched something right now, because now he's not making any sounds at all. Oh, no. I'm a dork. He won't make sounds because this isn't plugged in. He's not transformed into... See, there you go. So, and that's a good lesson for you guys, too. When you are testing it, remember, you got to have that t pushed in there. So now, he will not make any sounds unless that is clipped into here, which is, you know, for transform robot mode. I'll show you that sensor right now. Uh, it's hard to take apart. See, there's a little... So there's a... This part right here is it? See, there's a hole. The part that clips into this area, so it clips in here and there's a hole. That's a little white thingy that it pushes in. That's what makes your sound. And what makes your sound when you untransform. So that's the trigger for that. So now it seems like he will not make any sounds unless he is in robot mode. So, just so you know, um, that that's the, the, the compensation for making it so he doesn't talk or drive his vehicle at any particular time. Now, in order to put him back together, basically the whole major thing was taking this silver part that goes around the dark gray put that in half. Now one side here has the wires and it goes all the way through to this. That's why I didn't take all that apart because there's going to be wires there anyway. But this is the other side of it that pinches it in place that makes that hinge. So you have to take off that screw and then those screws there. Um, I took off the bottom thing here. Well, uh, I'll let you know if that actually had to be taken off or not. Um, it made it easier by taking out the pin with the spring. That may be tricky putting back together. And... Yeah, there are, most of the screws look to be the same, however, there is a slight differentiation in the tread on some of them. The thread, sorry, I always call it tread. Now there's this little gray piece that goes in the middle here, here, here like this. See that? that? Is used to plug into this part right here, so... Make sure you don't forget that. It only goes in one way, so it makes it easy to, to determine. You could even glue it in place if you want, hold it in place for you. It doesn't really need to be loose. It's always good to try and take a picture at, or video as you're taking it apart. Hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Because then you know exactly what it looked like before you decided to disassemble it. 
Of course, this kind of, once you open that gray part, it kind of falls apart on you, so... So, it's hard to see, but... Okay, so, cement mixers look like this. The green part looks like it goes up. Green part of the circuit board, that is. Okay. Push this back. Put this in the circuit board slot as well. Alright, I just got that put together. We've moved all the wires out of the way. Now this, I couldn't even use my lovable automatic screwdriver because it was a little bit thick. So there's a screw right here under the X gas tank. Gotta put, screw that in. This one's slightly, is it regularly thick? Oh wait, no. It's one of the thin ones. And let's throw that in there. Mm -hmm. Ah, the thick one goes here in the hinge portion. And that one I can get with this. Alright, now before we put this piece on, that piece goes right across there, before we put that on, gotta put the pin back in and the spring. And here. So that just goes through the gray, the light gray piece. See how it sits right there in that groove. And the tricky part is going to be this spring. It goes in like this. So you can see there's a little fold at the end. That part goes right in this groove right here. You can slide the pin out. So I do the same thing going in. I have that there. Push it down into place, and then slide the pin in. Oh, there we go. Look, that was pretty easy. And then close this back up. See that? I'm not going to redo it, so rewind if you want to watch that again. <laughs> and now we can put this plate back on. Like so, and you got six screws across here. And then, of course, final step, you got to put in the batteries. If you don't know how or to put in the batteries or take them out, you should uh, definitely not try this project. Here we go. So now, motion sensor disabled. Shake around all you want. He does not. I'm going to put some glue on those to tighten those. Maybe even pin them. But, uh, he does not make motion sounds, so he will not make any sounds until... You clip that down there, and then this... So he still lights up, he does his sounds when you press this. He doesn't do it when you, just when you open his mouth. He used to do it just when you open his mouth. Now you have to click it all the way for him to do his thing. But he does, I believe, still do all the same symbols, uh, phrases. Not so sure of that. Oh, and here's also a, uh, an extra tip. Got two extra tips. First one... If you want to pose him with his mouth open, fold this flap down and it kind of snips right into place right there, almost like it was made to do so. See that? See, there's a little, almost like a groove or thing just put right there. Now his mouth will be open, so it looks like he's sucking guys in. I'll show you my last peeve, not with the figure, but with uh, the idea. So he actually is relatively stable. When you put his legs together and he stands up, for being the short legs that he's got, he's able to stand up relatively well. Now, however, my my peeve with everybody's design of it is that he's standing on his hind legs. He never does that in the movie. He's he's a big mass. He's kind of dog walking, right? And uh, so, one of the easiest poses you can do this with either leg, but I do it this way because he seems like he's got a little bit better posability with this side. You put his arm down there, so you put one leg back. You've got to make the triangle. The triangle of posability, basically. So you've got you put one leg forward, one leg back, and then his hand down on this side. It makes a triangle. 
most stable poses any anybody is is triangle. Now sometimes it's a triangle because you got the toes and the heel and then the tip of another toe. You can't see my hands because they're down there on the ground, but it still makes a triangle even if it's just the toe and the heel of one foot. That makes two points. So, anyway, I think this looks so much better. He's actually look like he's crawling around. He's reaching up. He can grab you. There's a Devastator we all know and love. Those are my tips for Devastator. Posability, easy check. Doing undoing the motion sensor, not as easy, but not that difficult either, surprisingly. And for those who are bugs and you want to, you you you, you got to you got to weigh your pros and cons. Pros, he doesn't make noise when you don't want him to. He will only make noise when you fire the trigger and when you transform him. The cons, he doesn't make his truck noise anymore. And he doesn't make noise until you do make his trigger uh, pop open in, in, in robot mode. So, you've got your pros and cons. It's relatively easy to do. Another con could be, if you don't do it right, you could break the wires and ma mess up either the sound or the lighting. So the wires are very tiny, very fragile. Be very careful. If you haven't soldered before, I, I wouldn't recommend do trying this. But if you have and you know a little bit of electronic stuff, and this bugs you, which according to a lot of people online, it does bug, and go ahead and try it. And uh, I'm, I'm happier, personally. And see if he's happier, too. Well, with a laugh like that, how could that not scream, I'm happy?